Greetings, everybody. I'll be coming with another Derptastic episode of Derpcraft Family Style. I'm over here at our farm district, and uh, I'm going to be working solo again today, and we're creating the uh, mushroom farm. Uh, what this farm will do is allow us to generate the giant mushrooms for both uh, mushrooms itself and mushroom blocks. Uh, it's, this is going to be a small redstone project, so... Uh, Let's uh, gear up here. Let's get the actually. Let's get the four outline first before we do anything, so we know about where it is. Now, to generate these rooms, they're going to basically be seven by seven by seven blocks. As you can tell, oops. As you can tell, I've already dug out the foundation to kind of quicken the uh, the build a little bit, of course. All I'm right now doing is just outlining where the walls will be for uh, the actual boxes of where everything it will go up. This will let me know about where everything is supposed to go. And I actually need to leave that one block out of place. Give me you back. There. Okay. So the insides. Well, the walls will have to be seven, one, two, three, four. That's the center. Five, six, seven, and then we're going to have a wall segment. We're going to skip two and have another wall segment. So once again, we'll have seven, one, two, three, four. Here's the middle. Five, six, and seven. So it's a seven by seven room. Now let's lay down the redstone. Oh, wait, I need my pressure plates. Give me, give me those two. And that should be everything for right now. Uh, as you can tell, I already have the access for creating the uh, mushrooms. Alright, let's put down the. Um, uh, let me show you everything here. Yeah, okay. Right. Uh, the redstone segment of this. All right, so we're gonna have a pressure plate here in this corner. So one, two, three. We're gonna have a pressure plate here in this corner. One, two. We're gonna put a block right here. Uh, give me the dirt. Let's put down the redstone to here and to here. All right. Next up, we're going to put a redstone torch on this block right here. Put a block here. Uh, screw the axe. With a repeater facing outwards. All right. Now, attached to this repeater will be a block. So what's happening at this point is this lit redstone is powering that repeater, which is powering in this block right here. All right. I'm going to put a block here. And the second redstone torch is going to go off of this block, which will deactivate because... Oh, hello! Poison. <laughs> Alright, um, back to what I was trying to say. This redstone torch is going to be depowered because this block is now powered, which is exactly what we wanted to do. Now, I'm going to put... Stone here. Okay, we're gonna build around to the dispenser segments. Okay, I will show you why I'm building in this direction. All right, you can stop now. Thank you. Uh, I was getting slightly annoyed. Good. Because that's going to go there, that's going to go here, there, to get rid of you, give me the dispenser, and actually I need my dirt. So, okay. Alright, the dirt's going to go on this block because it has to be one block below the floor level. Remember, this is the floor level right there. So the dispenser is going to go right there. 
I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Uh, did I already put one? Yep, yep. Okay, that, that's... Give me you. Okay. Once again, the dirt goes one block below the floor. The dispenser's going to go right there on that block there. Let's put the redstone back in my hand. Okay, now we're going to put redstone along this path here. There. And then let's put the repeater facing into the block here on one tick. One tick delay. So, this is what we got going on. You're going to stand on a pressure plate either on this side or that side, which will send a signal to this redstone torch here. Actually, it'll send a redstone signal to the block, which will turn that redstone torch off, turning off this repeater, which will depower this block briefly, which will power that redstone torch. The redstone torch will then power this line of redstone going out to the dispensers on both sides and feeding back into this repeater, which is set to a tick delay, which will turn this block on and off as a uh, clock. And I will show you that right now. Let's we'll put uh, four pieces in and we'll put the... The... Um, yeah, if I can get my brain to work. <laughs> Sorry, I guess. Uh, pressure plates in place. Okay. I, as you already heard. Alright, so I'll, I'll stand on it. Now, if you can see that the... Uh, Redstone torch right here is depowered, which depowered that uh, repeater. So now that block is being powered on and off because we're sending the signal back around, looping into itself on tick delay, which is allowing it to turn on and off, which is allowing these suspensors to continually fire. The redstone will hit the block that's underneath it, which powers the suspensors. Okay, let's turn that off. That's gets a little annoying. Then once you step off the plate, you repower this torch, which turns off this repeater clock here. And it, no matter which plate you stand on, it works. All right. That's the simple redstone that goes into this farm. That'll get us our giant uh, mushrooms. So now I just got to put the floor into place. And uh, I'll be back. now all in the place the only thing we now need to do is I now need to put in place where the inside lights will be. <laughs> that's okay where the inside lights will be uh, for the rooms this will allow enough lighting so that nothing will spawn inside and for us to also lay down the mushrooms Let me dig my way out. T 
to get the lady in the right location. Do 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 do. Go underneath. Okay. All you have to worry about doing is going one block from each corner of the room. Now, you can use whatever lighting you prefer. Oh, oh you want to get me another pick out for that. Um, I choose to use glowstone because I can set it down into the floor just as easily. So now our basic floor design is laid out. Let's uh, start working on the walls and I'll be back.
All right, everybody. The basic structure is now finally up, and all the decoration is in place as far as the box goes. The outside decoration I'll take care of later, of course. Um, the uh, reason I did it this particular way is because essentially these are just giant boxes. So to try to give it a little bit of definition and a little bit of change because it's just big red box, I added in the um, the logs with the, the upside down stairs to give it uh, some color and depth. And of course my typical corner pieces where I use the stone walls to give it a color change as well as some character. And of course the same thing with the tops. Uh, all of the glowstone that is in place is designed to prevent any potential mobs from spawning. Uh, the only potential locations I can have to worry about is up here on these ledges, which I probably will light up later on once I start working on the decoration that goes around the, the whole place. Now, let's um, show you how essentially the farm is going to work. Let's get the last few pieces into place. Let's get the homes for where the axes will go. And then um, uh, let's get a stack of bone meal in there. I'll put a stack of bone meal in there. Give me a red mushroom, a brown mushroom, and let's do this is uh, the fortune one. Okay, so this will. So we place a mushroom here and a mushroom here. We come over here, stand on the block, you hear the clicking, and you see that it forms. This is the largest this will form, 7 by 7. And it could potentially actually go up one more. Uh, this one will form like this uh, with a space between them. The only problem is sometimes they'll form all the way down to the floor. And all you got to do once that's there, just come in here, harvest it. Like this. down okay now I originally started out with 32 and a half 47 of the brown let's go get the red okay good oh, get that one All right, same thing over here we started with 32 of the red and now I have 52 so it's not bad. Now let's do the mushroom. Mushroom. Okay. Now I'll go stand on the other plate. Click, 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 click. That's grown. That one's grown. Okay, notice that um, once you step off the plate, of course, the clicking is all stopped. Now let's get the blocks. Do the same thing. Easy as that. Now you notice each and every single block comes down is a mushroom block. Of course, the, the key to that is having silk touch. The reason I use an axe because it just it, it's so much quicker just using an axe than anything else. And, it, and this axe will stay here so that anybody can use it and farm these mushrooms how they choose to, which is why I have the item frames. And out of there, we've got almost a stack of both mushroom blocks. How's that? And then when we're done, we just goes there, and we'll put that one there. And then, of course, we'll have storage for the blocks. Storage for the mushrooms. And storage for the bones. Plenty of storage. There we go. And that, my friends, is the mushroom farm. As always, keep playing, keep building, and we'll be with you. Y'all take care now. Bye.